What's that song? The one from Cinderella? A dream is a wish your heart makes. Our most Buffalo crew did a little dreaming today after seeing the headlines about the massive Powerball and Mega Millions jackpots up near a billion dollars combined. Now we've all been down this road before and we know the odds are not exactly in our favor. There are many things more likely to happen to us than winning the lottery, like being struck by lightning, dating a supermodel, or being killed by a vending machine or a falling coconut. It's a little morbid, I know, but if the last thing I see is the view from under a palm tree or a bag of Doritos, I'm going to assume I've done something right either way. Interestingly, you're more likely to actually earn the money, become a millionaire on your own, than win it. But why be a buzzkill when we can dream a little dream? Imagine what it might be like to suddenly be filthy rich. What would change? What would you do? How would you want to spend all that money? Or would you save it away and just keep on living? We went online today and invited you to dream along with us. And within minutes, we had all kinds of responses, a ton of them. What's really interesting is how similar they all are. Many of you mentioned right away you would share it with family, with friends, with the community. A lot of you said you would use your good fortune to help others. And this should not come as a surprise, knowing our most Buffalo audience like we do, but a lot of you said you would also want to help animals live happier lives. You said you would travel. When we can do that again. You're up for all kinds of adventures, have all kinds of lists and dreams and things you would love to do. And even if it's not exactly likely, it's really fun to think about. Money, after all, isn't everything, but it seems like it can buy something a lot of us are looking for. Freedom for us and for others, whether it's paying off bills, retiring, or just getting away from that. After a year of learning to live more simply, maybe we've learned a little something about gratitude for what we already have. Maybe that will make it a little easier for us all to find what we're looking for when we find, again, that our numbers don't come up. But yes, even just imagining searching for meaning from a private island with crystal blue water, a full staff, Wi-Fi, and bottomless mimosas is pretty great, let's face it. Whatever the odds, we can always hope for the best. So as we wrap up today's show, here's to finding good fortune even if it's on a budget. Keep dreaming, and we'll see you next time. Unless I win the lottery and then, well, that's a different story.